pretty sure it's a box. A boss. Not a box, got them. Boss up next. God damn it. There you go. Sweet. Okay, you made it. I'm just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Let's talk. Always on good behavior, aren't you? I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? <laughs> Piper, what does this have to do with anything we're doing right now? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary knowing what's really out there. Right. A night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it because. Uh huh. Scared, huh? Could have fooled me. I'm pushy, not crazy. Honestly, these days I'm more scared for my sister. I don't know, uh -huh. but I'm not the only one with something to lose. That's why people deserve to know what's out there, good or bad. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Sure. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. Oh my god, this Our chick is talking way too much. Buy it. I he was gonna my dad I tried to the mayor sure wanted. <sighs> Just get the hell out of here. Guy, that is the guy. You came a long way. Let's hear it. You murdering, kidnapping psychopath. Give me my son. Give me Sean. No, right to it, then, huh? Okay, fine. Your son, Sean. Great kid. A little older than you may have expected. But I'm guessing you figured that out by now. But if you're hoping for a happy reunion, it ain't gonna happen, pal. Your boy's not here. Why? Where is God he? God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away? That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah oh well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. The Institute. So where is it, huh? This Institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet, it's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? You know. In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell, so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. Oh, what the fuck? Execute him, execute him, come on, come on. What the fuck?
No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit, I need some stim packs. And then some slow down, slow down, slow down, come on, slow down all the time. Is it jet? Come on, come on, run! He's somewhere in there, I saw him. Come on, wake up, Jessica Jones. Shit. Oh, this guy. Did I kill him? I killed him. How was he turning invisible? Outfit. <laughs> Is it any good? Nah, it actually takes away. See, mine has 45, this one has 30. I'll take it. So the Institute has them. Potion successfully delivered back to the Institute. Payment received. New orders to track down the Renegade. Gather reinforcement. Cleared out. Secured. So, the Institute has him. I got to finish him off with a shotgun. It's crazy. So Sean was here, then this asshole. It's on this other side. Always on good behavior, aren't you? My God, Piper, why do you always want to talk? over here I don't know. Let's go back to the Always on good behavior. Shut up Piper god damn Come on Piper I don't want to leave you Piper whenever the fuck you want Get in here. Always on good behavior, aren't you? Fine. Going up. <sighs> so Sean wasn't even here. There, there you are. Always on good behavior, aren't you? Always on good behavior, aren't you? Stop asking me that, damn it, lady. <laughs> so 
Sean was not here after all. People of the Commonwealth. Oh Do my god. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. going on that will follow that ship it's my quest She's gonna land all the way the hell over there, according to the map. Yep, yeah, it's gonna land all over there. No, it's gonna go follow it. Ah, let's go back to uh, this guy's home. So that was insane. Now we know what happened to Sean. He's with the Institute. So the detective was right. Halfway. He said he's a bit he's a bit much older. What was that supposed to mean? Always on good behavior, aren't you? Stop it. What do you want, Piper? Now you don't want nothing, okay. I didn't even use the rusty nail to kill the guy either. Oh man. Sean was not that with that guy. Hey, Valentine. Hey, Valentine. Where's your son? What happened? It's your fault. I. I didn't make it in time. Kellogg was working with the Institute, and he... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols trip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. He's dead. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. 
If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. That's There's insane. no way that could ever work. <clears throat> Stay with me on this. We get a piece of Kellogg's gray matter and take it to Amari. Then we see if she's got the goods to pull this off. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Well, Good thing I picked right up everything that he had. <laughs> not, if I wouldn't have, I think I wouldn't have said that. So, with you? I have to go to the memory den either way if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll take Piper. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. A few more steps. Always on good behavior, aren't you? I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Of course. I mean, oh. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh. No, sure. sure. Huh. Uh, because I'm absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Exactly. Uh, I already heard all the speech, uh, so I don't really need to hear it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. 